Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. In this course, uh, we, we have been uh, discussing an important uh, topic which is olefin polymerization. And in this context, over the last uh, a few lectures, uh, we were uh, particularly focusing our discussion on poly -olef uh, polyolefin, particularly polyethylene and various processes uh, that uh, were prevalent uh, uh, in the uh, beginning for preparing various grades of polyolefin which can be LDPE, uh, uh, low density polyethylene or LLDPE, linear low density polyethylene or <coughs> HDPE, high density polyethylene. Now, in our discussion, um, uh, uh, we have also looked at uh, several industrial processes uh, starting from that of ICI or radical based polymerizations to produce LDPE uh, to uh, heterogeneous uh, transition metal based chromium centric uh, polymerization method developed by Philips uh, uh, and pro properly known as uh, Philips process uh, uh, for uh, in 1950s, uh, 56 to be more precise for producing HDP high density uh, polyethylene. Uh, and also how we have looked at how uh, imp uh, improvisation of the process uh, by replacing the initial uh, high valent chromium trioxide as the precursor with uh, low valent uh, uh, chromocene uh, by union carbide uh, led to uh, uh, accessing uh, these uh, poly uh, polymers uh, in a uh, more uh, efficient way. We have also seen how uh, union carbide uh, uh, by uh, control the chain length uh, by uh, uh, varying the introduction of hydrogen gas uh, in the polymerization chain, uh, chamber uh, 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 and thereby uh, uh, carrying out a modification of the Philip process for producing HDP and successfully uh, use uh, this Philip process to produce LLDP or linear uh, low density polyethylene. Uh, in this context, we have also noted uh, the contribution of union carbide uh, in a process called unipole process where they, uh, they did away with uh, conventional reactor and used fluid based reactor, reactor for producing uh, both LLDP and high density polyethylene. Now, in and around at this time, uh, 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 we have also uh, discussed about uh, the development of signal nata catalysis or the origin of signal nata catalysis. And uh, what we have noted that uh, signal nata catalysis uh, uh, started from uh, 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 investigation on a uh, 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 aluminum based uh, catalysis that would uh, produce long chain uh, compounds of, uh, uh, of chain length of up to C200 uh, and which is which was commonly called as the off bow reaction. And the off bow reaction in short is given by hundred bar pressure produced. And uh, then uh, uh, then uh, uh, there is this competing reaction called dehydro elimination that resulted in aluminum hydrate compound plus alpha olefin. Now, uh, it is uh, while uh, uh, observing uh, uh, the production of uh, long, uh, long chain uh, uh, aliphatic compounds that uh, Ziegler observed observed an opposite trend 
and uh, the opposite trend was that uh, that instead of obtaining uh, uh, polymers what was ob obtained was uh, two molecules of ethylene uh, 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 gave away to one uh, butene. butane uh, uh, in quantitative yields. And uh, this uh, was uh, a, a, a very a, 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 a chance discovery which sort of showed that uh, something uh, uh, opposite to what was expected, uh, what was expected was long chain polymers. Uh, long chain linear long chain aliphatic compounds. This was uh, what was expected uh, from this reaction, but what was found was uh, one butene which is uh, just a dimer of ethylene uh, uh, and this is sort of a dimerization process. And uh, that uh, uh, was sort of a chance discovery, which was later attributed uh, to nickel impurities. Uh, in the reaction vessel, and uh, this, uh, in short, is called nickel effect. And this uh, was in short uh, called the uh, nickel effect. Now, this uh, nickel effect is uh, what uh, later on uh, was uh, 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 the uh, origin or source uh, of this uh, source for the discovery of this famous Ziegler Nata uh, catalyst. So, in search of of other transition in search of other transition metal that would give premature termination of off bow reaction. of off bow reaction this is exactly similar to what was effect of uh, nickel effect another another unexpected observation was made. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, kind of very interesting because uh, um, uh, if you look, uh, so it is sort of like two serendipities led to one big Nobel Prize award uh, winning di uh, discovery. The first one itself was the nickel effect uh, because uh, people were studying off bow reaction, uh, people were studying uh, uh, off bow re uh, reaction and was uh, trying to fig uh, figure out ways and means to increase and make linear uh, long chain polymers. However, uh, they came across this nickel effect which led to uh, just the dimer. Now, once the nickel effect was found, they were looking for other transition metal that would uh, uh, behave similar to that of uh, uh, nickel effect, uh, but, uh, and they were looking for other transition metal that would have similar uh, effect uh, like nickel effect on the off bow reaction and which would also uh, give uh, a uh, dimerized or oligomerized product. However, uh, the other expected uh, uh, observation was that during this search for other metal, they found another metal which could even give 
uh, much larger uh, 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 polyethylene uh, uh, polymer uh, chains. So, which was again like uh, uh, going back to what they had really wanted in the first place. So, the way we say that uh, two left uh, brings us uh, back to the same position. Uh, similarly, uh, two errors uh, uh, in uh, uh, the process of discovery led to exactly the same thing what they had opt, uh, wanted in the initial stages that wanted to make uh, a long chain polymers and that was indeed the case, uh, but uh, that has to be found uh, by first the nickel effect and then another unexpected observation that was made uh, which led to the Ziegler-Nada uh, polymerization. So, let us see uh, this unexpected uh, polymer. So, it was found that TiCl4 and ET2ALCl gave HDP high density polyethylene at low pressure. of 1 bar. So, this is indeed a significant uh, discovery because now uh, unlike in radical polymerization uh, uh, one could uh, where uh, very extremely high pressures are uh, uh, needed uh, pressure of around uh, 2000 uh, psi were uh, needed to produce uh, 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 polymers which are not really very long uh, uh, in chain like L, uh, LDPE. Uh, this uh, TiCl4 triethyl uh, diethyl aluminum chloride uh, efficiently gave HDP high density polyethylene at uh, a very low pressure of uh, 1 uh, uh, bar. So, this was indeed uh, a radical uh, discovery at that point of time uh, because uh, now we, uh, we have a catalyst uh, which is uh, a titanium based catalyst that can polymerize uh, ethylene to give long chain linear polyethylene at uh, very low pressure of 1 bar. And uh, these are highly crystalline materials without much uh, branching. So, uh, that uh, is the uh, unique uh, uh, ness about this uh, ziegler natta polyethylene uh, discovery and this is how uh, it came into being. First the observation of uh, nickel effect by looking at uh, by getting 1 butene uh, from off bow reaction. And then the second thing was they wanted to see what other transition metal can uh, give similar uh, 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 premature termination of off bow reaction. But instead they ended up finding a transition metal which could uh, give extremely long chain polyethylene then even what the off bow reaction can give. Uh, so, with this let me just uh, give the reaction. HDP Dalton. So, uh, this is about 10,000 uh, to uh, uh, 1 lakh uh, Dalton molecular weight. So, uh, and uh, this HDP obtained were almost uh, linear, linear chains. with uh, uh, no branching. So, uh, this was a uh, uh, very important discovery at that point uh, uh, which was uh, made by Ziegler uh, uh, that uh, now uh, he has found a system which is uh, titanium uh, tetrachloride with diethyl aluminum chloride at very ambient uh, condition 25 degree centigrade and 1 bar pressure and could uh, produce uh, high density polyethylene uh, uh, of very high molecular weight ranging from 10,000 to 
to 100,000 Dalton uh, and that produced linear uh, polymer chains with no branching. So, this was indeed a great discovery uh, by uh, Ziegler uh, and what uh, he found that actually the catalyst is a, a beta uh, surface alkylated uh, beta uh, TiCl3 uh, which is obtained from this. So, the real catalytic species is uh, beta form of uh, TiCl3 uh, which is surface activated. Uh, surface acted, activated beta uh, uh, TiCl3. Now, uh, uh, this was the catalyst which was uh, uh, produced, uh, uh, which was producing high density polymer. Now, for uh, this uh, uh, and this uh, uh, process uh, was uh, called have initially called uh, as uh, Ziegler 1955 discovered uh, this polyethylene. or HDPE and uh, this uh, molar mass 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5 Dalton. And this uh, process uh, uh, was uh, that time uh, known as uh, Mulhem. normal pressure polyethylene process, Mullen normal pressure polyethylene process. Uh, so, what uh, Ziegler found that actually uh, this is surface alkylated beta TiCl3 catalyst was uh, carrying out uh, uh, the uh, process and they were obtained from TiCl4 and diethyl aluminum chloride. And uh, uh, for uh, obtaining uh, uh, the lower molecular weight, hydrogen was added, H2 was added to control the chain length. Polymer chain length. Uh, so, this is uh, similar to what we had observed in case of the uh, Philip process as well, where hydrogen was added uh, to control the chain length and then Philip, uh, Philip process was used for making LLDPE. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what are the advantages? Advantages of uh, ziegler uh, uh, polymerization, let me just uh, highlight. Uh, the first thing is that it could produce uh, at very low pressure, this is uh, the number one advantage. Second thing is uh, that uh, the, the temperature is also at room temperature ambient condition. Uh, so, this is uh, the second advantage. Third advantage is uh, it was producing high density polyethylene uh, which is almost linear uh, uh, and uh, without almost no branching. Hmm. And fourth advantage is uh, the uh, control of polymer uh, chain length by increasing uh, by adding hydrogen in variation. Now, there are also limitations associated with the Ziegler process. Uh, limitation says that being heterogeneous, uh, 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 of Ziegler process is uh, large, uh, broad, 
distribution of molecular weight uh, of uh, uh, broad distribution of molar mass was of polymer molar mass was observed. So, uh, so that means a uh, broad distribution the chain lengths are varied a lot uh, as we have seen from 10 to the 4 to uh, Dalton uh, 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 and uh, that means that uh, these are multi site catalysis. So, uh, uh, to overcome this uh, limitation the efforts uh, were put into develop uh, uh, single site catalysis. Uh, to overcome this disadvantage single site catalyst catalyst were developed. And uh, these uh, single site uh, uh, catalyst, uh, 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 this single site catalyst uh, uh, the catalyst would give uh, 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 a narrow uh, distribution of molecular weight and uh, so they would uh, give uh, um, uh, a pure or like a more narrower and well behaved uh, type of uh, polymer uh, molecular weight. So, uh, this uh, this was uh, uh, the story about the uh, first half of the Ziegler Natta catalysis. Now, uh, uh, as you uh, uh, can see, the Ziegler Natta catalysis bears the name of uh, two contributors one is Carl Zieg uh, Ziegler and the second is Giulio Natta. Uh, and uh, the first half uh, of the story is about the ethylene polymerization, which was uh, developed by uh, uh, identified and first developed by Ziegler. So, we so far we, uh, we have uh, spoken about the Ziegler uh, portion of the Ziegler Natter catalysis and now uh, we are going to move on to the uh, second half of the Ziegler Natter uh, catalysis which is about the Natter portion of the Ziegler Natter catalysis. Now, in terms of uh, chemical uh, point of view Ziegler Natter catalysis uh, using uses polymerization of ethylene uh, to give polyethylene which was uh, Ziegler's uh, contribution and Natter's contribution had been extending uh, Ziegler's contribution uh, uh, to polypropylene uh, to polypropylene. So, in that way uh, uh, one can say that uh, the real glory about of the discovery of uh, uh, the uh, polymerization actually lies with Ziegler because Ziegler is the one who had first. Uh, observed uh, the polymerization of ethylene to HDP under ambient condition and one bar uh, for ethylene. So, uh, extending the same uh, method uh, to propylene uh, it would uh, be a, a, a obvious extension of the existing knowledge. But uh, uh, the things the way things panned out is uh, 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 Professor Nata uh, came and worked uh, in the lab of Professor uh, uh, Ziegler in one of the summer and he understood the implication of propylene uh, uh, that uh, might have uh, in the same catalysis. And so, uh, he went and extended the uh, 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 polymerization reaction to propylene and he very well knew that propylene having a methyl group with uh, have a stereoregular uh, properties uh, in the polymer and that is he developed that aspect. Uh, polyethylene on the other hand uh, does not have uh, any stereo uh, 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 stereo isomerism issue issues or st uh, stereo regularity issues because it is just a ethylene backbone whereas uh, propylene uh, polypropylene had uh, this uh, stereo regularity of the methyl group and uh, that is another dimension to the polymer that uh, Professor Nata conceived and uh, that he applied successfully in uh, extending the uh, uh, Ziegler's discovery to uh, propylene uh, substrate. So, uh, today with that uh, we come to the conclusion of uh, uh, this lecture in which we have uh, looked into the historical pers uh, uh, perspective 
of the development of Ziegler Lata contribution uh, catalysis right from uh, uh, the time of the Philip process where uh, the process industrial processes were being developed for producing various kinds of, uh, kinds of polyethylene from LDP, LLDP or HDP. Hey. And then how, uh, we had also noted that how the discovery uh, of uh, how the uh, study of off-bow reaction to produce uh, long chain polymers led to the observation of uh, simple quantitative dimerization of ethylene and that was later accounted for the presence of uh, impurity uh, uh, of nickel in the reactor and that is what was called nickel effect. Subsequent study of the nickel effect for finding another uh, or other transition metal which would give uh, 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 now uh, the premature termination of off-bow reaction to give 1-butene. Uh, however, uh, uh, led to an opposing uh, uh, trend or opposing discovery that in presence of uh, early transition metal like titanium tetrachloride and diethyl aluminum chloride, uh, extremely uh, linear long chain high density polyethylenes were obs obs obtained at uh, room temperature and uh, 1 bar pressure. So, this was a great uh, discovery uh, uh, again which was unexpected and uh, that is what uh, uh, led to polyethylene uh, polymerization. So, this is the story which was uh, uh, developed uh, by uh, Professor Carl uh, Ziegler uh, and the limitation about uh, the advantage of the ziegler nada polymerization or Ziegler polymerization is uh, that uh, this is produces HDP high density polyethylene at room temperature 1 bar pressure and also the chain length can be controlled by uh, uh, metered addition of hydrogen. Uh, and the limitation what it had is that it has large uh, distribution of polymer molar mass, the huge distribution of the molecular weight and that suggested that this is a multi-site catalysis and hence uh, to improve on that uh, the focus uh, changed uh, to uh, synthesizing a single site catalyst for uh, making more well behaved uh, polymer with narrow polydispersity index. So, with this uh, uh, we come uh, to end of the uh, Ziegler uh, uh, story of the ziegler nata uh, uh, polymerization and we are going to be taking up uh, uh, our Nata's uh, story, uh, the next as a part of the ziegler nata uh, polymerization and how we would see how Professor Julia Nata uh, uh, translated the knowledge uh, developed by Professor Ziegler for, poly, uh, for uh, polymerizing polyethylene and uh, used the same on uh, propy, uh, pro propylene to produce polypropylene and how that uh, uh, was developed uh, uh, in subsequent uh, ways. So, with that uh, I again uh, thank you for being with me in this class and we are going to be uh, discussing more about the this exciting uh, story of Ziegler Nata catalysis as we meet next in the next lecture. Till then goodbye and thank you. Thank you.